greatest Nigeria youth. <laughs> smile now, I beg, I beg, smile. Because we have a lot to smile about and I'll tell you some of them. Never again in Nigeria will anyone undermine the influence of the Nigerian youths. Because never again in this country will anyone underestimate the power that the young people have. That is what happened. The power that the people have was hugely underestimated, all in the name of the structure of this somewhere, all in the name of, oh, now some people will get that power. No. If there's anything this time has taught us, it is that the power belongs to you and it belongs to me, it belongs to us. The power belongs to the people. Nigerian youths have come out and we have demystified their structure. We have started what we cannot finish. But we must finish it. Nigerian youth, you have started something great. Even you yourselves. Something that can deliver us from now and for generations to come. Please, don't be demoralized. Oh yes, because I know a lot of people are. While some other people are, are happy. That is very fine. That is the beauty of democracy. I've said the times you have number. That everybody has the right to support whoever it is that they want to support. But we are gradually getting to a place. We are gradually getting to the time where only the sheer will of the people will prevail. So please, I want to beg you. Calm down. Don't give up. Don't lose hope. Now that lose hope, they want. So that you go there, you go just say, oh, nothing can ever work. No, it don't they work. If nothing can ever work, this momentum where we even gather, it no go possible. Oh, yes. Uh -uh. When the election, they hurt. One politician, he come, he say, eh, who are the youths? They can vote whoever it is that they want to vote for now. And the youths came out and they vote. Oh, no, not only the youths. The people came out. Everybody came out. Everybody vote for who he want. But at the end of the day, we can see. We all can see that the youths have that power. That we young people have that power. We get the numbers now. Come on. We get the numbers. So it is that unity that we must keep. I beg. I beg. They are trying to divide us. It's too much. Oh, you strive. Why we say normally before before election, all of us they live in peace, we they live in harmony, we they do our things, buy from my evil brother, um, um patronize my Iosa sister, play with one another, marry one another, talk to one another, do business with one another. Only during election they try to remind you that you are not you are not from the same place. They remind you you are not from the same place, but they want to rule you together. They are not saying go this way, go that way, go this way. They are using that as a tool, but still they want to have control of everywhere. So please, don't let them, let them divide us. Please, I beg you. Anybody that is telling you now, maybe as a Yoruba man that is telling you, go and evil brother outside. Oh, election all. We want to show some people pepper. Or my evil brother, brothers, they are telling you, Yoruba somewhere, outside, anywhere, any other ethnic group in the country, and they are telling you to divide yourself, go and be fighting one another. Please don't. Even any of the politicians that is aggrieved now, maybe he won't go court or you know win. At the end of the day, he no go come out to join you, go break person also. Another person, no. No politician will send their children to go and cause chaos in a state where they live in. No. no. Don't let anybody, nobody should cause war among us. Nobody is not now. So because some people are making some kind of statements, saying some things, trying to stoke up by God, they want us to stand so that they can say, Oh, you see, Allah, they don't even No, Now is the time to be united because you have seen what our small, even the small unity, we not we not gather fully, but the small one where we try and gather, you see what you do. So please do not be discouraged. We have we have started this journey. And together, we must build the momentum. Please, a lot of demoralizing messages here and there. No. To be honest, I know how some people must feel. But it is democracy. Oh. And we know we are not happy with the way INEC conducted elections in some certain areas. That's the truth. Nobody can deny. But the president-elect has been announced. Oh, yes. Why not? Any aggrieved candidate will go to court. Don't let anybody use you. The Nigerian youths must remain as one. Nigerian youths must remain as one. Please, I beg you. We have started something bigger than every one of us. 
everyone and they see now the power of the youths they see now the power of the internet and now they said it was only four people tweeting in a room see four people tweeting see the result of four people tweeting in a room now oh they said no structure they don't even have senate no no federal uh, rep nothing there should be some of some people don't come out now for that same senate, that same federal rep where we say they win so that is the only thing i want you to take out of this is that you are the structure the people now anything when they you hear about structure now the people they bear structure so please i beg you please let us stay as one now is the time to even unite now is the time to have one voice together do not die for politicians don't let any politician use you as a tool that is all they are friends we know they are friends the youth can have their choice or majority of people can have their choice but politicians will be politicians and while we are trying to build trust for politicians we must remain united because only then can we say oh now we bring you in you know oh yeah you know do well get out only when they see that we are united that is when we can be making decisions like that so they know then they too they will sit up they say ah if we not do well oh, these people go chase us oh. So please, I beg you, please, I beg you, we have been in one or two meetings, and please, again, very important to state that neither me, nor my brother, Faust, or any other um, celebrity, or any other, I don't know, some others can claim leadership, I'm, we are not, we, are, we have never claimed leadership. We are youths like yourself, who just want the growth and development of our country, Nigeria. And we have been in some meetings. Gubernatorial elections is coming up. And I know some of my, my dear youths will say, why should we come out again to vote? Look at what they have done. Some people are angry at results. Let aggrieved candidates take their cases to court. Let the youths remain focused. It is a long-term goal. And yes, one or two fights. But let us understand ourselves. One or two fights, say, eh? oh, no, now, chain, now, like that, we go look. No, no, no. Calm down, everybody. Let us hear ourselves. Let us stand together. We cannot be used as instruments for politicians. No. So, I'm calling on, I'm calling INEC out again. Conduct is not fair. You saw all our grievances. You saw us post videos. You saw where we were. You saw where we were being intimidated. You saw where um, staff, uh, annex staff did not come out on time. You saw where um, they, they, they didn't upload to Beavers. Different things happened. And anyone aggrieved will go to court. I keep saying that. But 